Hey everybody, I am back with another sponsored video with Nordstrom. I am so excited to be able to collaborate with them yet again, and it's only because of your support. So thank you so much for making these opportunities possible. So I decided to make the focus of this one, not just fall fashion, but more like business casual, meeting appropriate um, in a more casual office setting, or maybe you need some outfit inspiration if you have uh, if you're a volunteer mom, that's kind of my other life, um, and you have to go to a lot of meetings and you want to look a little more polished, but you know, not necessarily a full on um, conservative business wear or traditional business wear. I do have a lot of upcoming meetings in the next few months. And while I know that no one's going to expect me to walk in wearing a suit and heels, I do like to wear something a little different than my everyday, well, t-shirt and jeans. So um, let's walk through seven outfits and I will show you how they can all be dressed up, dressed down, very comfortable, all of them. And um, none of them require any special Spanx, undergarments, or what have you. So let's get started with outfit number one. So I wanted to show you first just the basic outfit. So basically we have another one of these. It's the Caslon U-neck instead of V-neck. See how it like dips down a little bit? Uh, short sleeve shirt and you're seeing it um, in the video in dark gray obviously i am wearing it in a different pattern they come in so many colors and uh just with a basic pair of jeans these are from cut from the cloth for your reference i will list the sizes that fit obviously that i'm wearing and my uh, measurements just to give you an idea because ordering online can be sometimes a little tricky so it helps if you know what the what the person you're wearing looking at is wearing so this is a basic t-shirt and jeans really but it's how you accessorize it that can make it just a little more polished, something that you would wanna to wear to a meeting type thing. And again, not the traditional business meeting. I'm fully aware this is very business casual. So in this case, I um, dressed it up with some booties. These are the Felina or Filiana booties from Vince Camuto. I picked these up in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They are back in stock. And I know this because I ordered a second pair, which you will be seeing later. And just to mix it up, I just added a very lightweight blush pink cardigan. I love this cardigan. I love the cut of it. It's a circle cardigan shape. It's, it skims the body, but this particular cardigan is very lightweight. And so I think it's a great accessory to have. If you do work in an office, they crank that air conditioning up. It's good to keep in your car. If you're going from somewhere warm, hot, yeah. If you're going from somewhere hot to an air conditioned interior, it's just one of those great things to have. These come in other colors. I love the blush pink. I consider it a neutral. It goes with every pretty much every general color you can think of. And I love that this one has pockets as well. If you wanna mix things up a little bit and change the shoe wear, I don't know if it's more or less casual, but they're flats. I love these. These are, um, they're from the brand BP. Again, that blush color, they're suede. They do come in other colors as well. I love the hardware detail. They're like backless loafers, mule loafers, but they're flats. I think they're adorable. And even though I'm showing you them with this particular outfit, you can wear them with pretty much everything I'm about to show you. I love these, they're super comfortable too. Moving on to outfit number two, um, this shirt I have in, I don't even know how many colors, I just keep adding to this my collection. These are the Pleone V-neck, I think they're called mixed media um, blouses, they're short sleeve, very forgiving, um, they are a little large. I have it in a size small, I could easily size down to an extra small or go in the petite, they do have petites as well. Um, I like that these can be tucked in, but also can, are long enough that you can wear them with leggings, which you will also see later. I'm still wearing the jeans, but to make it a little more polished and add that layer that's great to, again, wear inside an office or overly air conditioned interior is another blush piece. This is the halogen blazer that I got in the anniversary sale. I could not pick a color. I probably will eventually end up ordering Another one, they had it in red and black and navy pinstripe. I got it in the small and not the petite. Um, I think that this fits me just fine. I don't think it's too big or that there's too much fabric. And again, this also has pockets. I love anything that has pockets. And again, this can easily be paired with the outfit you just saw. It's just a great staple piece to keep in your closet. As far as shoes go, you can stick with the original pink mules that I had on. Um, or if you wanna add a little more polish, a little more formal, 
look to it than put on a pair of pumps. These are pointy-toed nude patent leather pumps. These particular ones are from Jimmy Choo. I also recommend um, Sam Edelman makes one that is a far more budget-friendly price point, and I will put that in the description box below. Outfit number three, you got me out of my jeans. These are so comfortable. They feel like jeans, but they are in fact pants. They're from J. Crew, and um, they, I got them here in like a kind of a dark gray. It's very much a neutral. Um, I paired it with this ruffled hem top, which can be worn all by itself, and it's perfectly appropriate for any kind of meeting. But if, again, you wanna add a layer for warmth or just to accessorize or just change it up a little bit, I threw on this knit blazer from Castlon. It is so comfortable. I love navy blue. I think navy blue is, again, I think it's, I, I think, I believe I saw that it is one of the colors of the year coming up maybe. Um, I think you're gonna see a lot more navy in my wardrobe personally. I think something great to pair navy with is blush pink. So you could easily wear those pink shoes I've been wearing. But this time I kept it more neutral with the kind of like oatmeal suede flats here. These are from Sam Edelman. And again, I like the little um, detail of the gold, like spiky studs on the shoes. It just adds a little something. Again, these shoes come in about, I don't know, nine or 10 colors. So I have read varying reviews back and forth. I have wide feet and these are very comfortable. I've worn them out. I've walked all over with them. I've worn them while running errands. I felt like they were very comfortable. I can go anywhere from a six and a half to a seven. I got these in a seven. So maybe um, that was the way to go. Maybe go a half size in your range up on these, but I love them. All right, outfit number four, still in my J. Crew pants. They're so comfortable, but now I'm wearing definitely traditional office wear type blouse. This is, um, boy, they have so many names for this kind of blouse. Yes, it's blush pink again. I'm obsessed with this color. I did keep the tags on this one. I don't know if you can see it in the video because I was on the fence if this was too big. Um, I got it in the small and I was wondering if I should go to a petite small, but after wearing it a little bit more, I feel like this, I'm good with this, but let me know in the comments what you think. I will be keeping this one. Um, you can wear the blouse a number of ways. You can have that tie part open, kind of tied more like a Peter Pan type collar or you know the typical um, traditional, they call it a pussy bow. I hate that name, but either way, it's, it's voluminous, but it's very feminine. It does come in a print, but I'm just obsessed with this pink. I don't know what's, I'm not a pink kind of person, but I cannot get this blush pink. Uh, I can't get enough of it. So I keep buying more. Just to keep it kind of more on the more traditional office wear side, I paired these with my nude pointy toed pumps, but you know, you can go to a flat, you can go to any kind of shoe that you prefer. Um, I just thought it looked, looked a little more polished. You could wear a black pump with this really doesn't matter. Okay, while all the attention is probably being focused on the very bright and fun print of this tank, this is a brand called Wallace from the UK, I believe. Um, it's a, I like that, I think it's, it's a little more pink, bright pink than I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one. I don't know. Um, I like that it's a tank because it's currently about 100 degrees where I am, so it's nice that I can wear it now just as a tank, and then as we transition into fall, I can layer it under something. But the hero of this outfit are the pants. These are Vince Camuto jogger pants. They're not jeans, they're not loungewear. These are actually meant to be pants. They, again, are super comfortable. They're not as, um, they have an elastic waist with little tie. I feel like traditional trouser pants to me are very binding and uncomfortable. And there's just something about these that I really love. You can dress them up. You can make them a little more office appropriate. You can take them down a notch with depending on what you pair them with on top and with your shoes. I love these. I do have my eye on a longer, thinner weight uh, cardigan. It's sold out in the anniversary sale. It's still sold out in my size. It's by the brand Halogen. I'll put the general link to it below. Maybe by the time this video goes up, it will be back in stock because as soon as it does, I am buying it in black and maybe in navy and in like an oatmeal color, but for now, I've paired it with this oversized kind of drapey utility jacket, also from the brand Castlon, one that you are familiar with if you've been watching these videos for a while. Um, I could have easily sized down. I went with a size small, but if I were to repurchase this, I would definitely buy it a size smaller in the extra small. It's a great layering piece. Um, I think I personally wouldn't wear a tank top to a meeting, um, so I like to have another layer over it. And it's lightweight enough that it's not gonna be too heavy in, in this transitional period that we're in. Although, I don't know where you are, it might finally be cool. Not the case where I am. Okay, here's an outfit that I would wear probably to a more casual meeting or if I were gonna go out afterwards, this would definitely be something I'd wear if you're in a little, I don't know, 
very casual Friday. I think this could you could pull this off, but obviously it's the shirt that I have on now. It's from Castlon. I mentioned it earlier. It's that U-neck t-shirt. Comes in a ton of colors. I should add that I am wearing the nude t-shirt bra from Matori, and you can't see it under any of the clothes that I've been showing you, so that's a win. Again, I'm wearing those joggers. I am into the joggers in a big way. Am, am I the only, I, this is like my third or fourth pair of them. I love them. I may have to get more as the season goes on. Another standout piece from Caslon. You saw this earlier from my anniversary haul. It's like a peplum shirt jacket because it's marketed as a jacket, but it really is the weight of a shirt. So it's a very lightweight. It just adds a little extra something thrown over a t-shirt. You could easily swap these jogger pants out for jeans. Um, they're kind of interchangeable and it makes it a little different outfit. And then just to be a little edgy, I think they're edgy, I don't know, about as edgy as a 44 year old woman can get. Um, these are the Dolce Vita studded sandals that I, oh, when I saw these, I just, from the catalog, I knew I had to have them. I like the gray instead of the black. They come in gray and black. The gray is just a little softer, a little more wearable, I think, especially in the daytime, but it's totally personal preference. Black rocks too, if that's what you want to wear. Um, but I, I love, obviously, I like a lot of gray. It's a lot of gray in my wardrobe. So I just added these. If you wanted to be a little more casual, I think those pink blush um, loafer mules that I got would look really cute with this outfit, just to be really casual and a totally different vibe that way. And then the last outfit that I have to show you is another one of those V-neck, like not t-shirts, but V-neck blouses from Cleone. Um, I just, I love them. I'm, they're great blouses. Highly recommend them, like I said, long enough to wear with leggings like I have, I'm wearing here. And these are the Zella Live-In Leggings, I believe is the name of that particular model. And I think they're supposed to be workout leggings, but to me, they look like regular leggings. You can wear them either way. And I like that they're high-waisted. They suck everything in and tighten everything up. Um, I paired these with the second pair of uh, booties that I got. Um, they were not available until after the anniversary sale. So I bought one, the gray pair at the sale price and I bought these oatmeal suede ones at the full price. I love a booty. You, I don't wear socks with them, but that's, you know, I guess personal preference. And then over this is again, one of my most favorite things that I picked up. I was actually eyeing this a couple months ago and then finally picked it up this is by the brand Bobo. It's a jersey weight, flowy cardigan, like a high-low cardigan. So it's a little bit shorter in the front, goes longer in the back, comes in so many beautiful colors. It's like wearing a t-shirt. It's really soft. It's super comfortable. It'd be the, a perfect travel cardigan. Um, I, it's drapey. It, it just skims the body. It's a really great piece. Highly recommend grabbing that. It's a really good price point as well. I should talk about the accessories I've worn with every single outfit. Um, I, I just, you know, obviously if you want to change the tone of the outfit, you change up the jewelry, but if you want to keep it, you know, pretty, pretty even, pretty middle of the road, you can't go wrong with these are just very delicate. Um, they're called, I think Sophie or Sophia earrings from Kendra Scott. They come in other sizes but these are you know, a little more delicate, a little smaller. And then this is an oldie but a goodie, still carried at Nordstrom. This is from the brand Goriana. It's their Tainer Bar necklace. I have it in silver and in gold. I don't have the rose gold one. It's just a really easy, um, delicate piece to wear and you can obviously layer it like I did in this last outfit um, with another long pendant necklace. That was the Kendra Scott. Um, I think it's the rain in the mixed metal. So there you have it. Those are my um, suggestions, inspiration, if you will, if you're in a rut for some fall fashion that's a little more office. Um, I don't want to say formal, but you know, not your everyday t-shirt and jeans, or at least not my everyday t-shirt and jeans. I'd love to hear back from you. Let me know what you want to see next in my next outfit video. I don't know when that's going to be, but um, you know, I'd love to hear what you want to see because you're the ones watching the video. As always, thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this and giving me this great opportunity. Um, everything is listed in order by outfit below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I look forward to reading them. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.